We know who will run as the Democratic candidate against Republican Governor Bill Lee in November. Now that race was too close to call last night. It was called just before noon today. WSMV's Tosin Fakili explains how this was a tight race. The Democratic primary for governor was competitive and close. It ended up at about half a percentage point difference between Jason Martin and J.B. Smiley Jr. Today, Friday at about noon, in a tweet, Smiley conceded in that race. Political experts say the race against Governor Bill Lee in the fall will be tough for the Democratic nominee. To enjoy not only this moment, but this movement, you guys, we're going to make a difference in the state of Tennessee this year. The AP called the race for Jason Martin on Friday morning, but Martin declared his victory on Thursday night. The Democratic primary for governor was competitive and close. As of Friday afternoon, about 1,500 votes separated Martin and Smiley. Both did well in their own regions. But Kent Seiler says the numbers so far show Governor Bill Lee is a favorite. He ran unopposed in the Republican primary and had almost half a million votes. The Democratic primary had a total of about 250,000 votes. So that's a two to one edge for Republicans. Martin has already committed to go to all 95 counties. If he can go into some of these rural communities and reestablish the Democratic brand in those areas, you can't keep losing 80 to 20 percent in rural counties and expect to be a factor on the state level. Now, even though we have the results, the numbers aren't totally official until they're certified. The counties actually have until August the 22nd to certify the election and the counties will certify that in, in waves. And so they'll start, they'll begin next week and start certifying. As for what will help declare Democratic nominee take on Governor Bill Lee, I asked political analyst Ken Seiler if Roe v. Wade will bring Martin more votes. I can almost guarantee that it will be something that benefits Jason Martin, but I can also almost guarantee that it won't be enough. But uh, it, it will be something, I think, that gets him more votes than he otherwise would have gotten. I asked Ken Seiler what Tennesseans are looking for in their next governor. He says they're looking for someone who will keep the good economy going and keep the ship stable in the state. At the state capitol, I'm Tosin Fakile for WSMV4.